Yes, I got more flexible, but these other things that I didn't expect are making my life much easier. My name is Mark. This is Train All Sports. Let's go. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the channel that goes over the little things that make big differences in your overall physical abilities. Now, everyone talks about range of motion and how important it is. Keep your back lined up right and increase your range of motion. So I decided to stretch every day for 30 days and really decide on my own how much flexibility plays a role in my overall well-being and athleticism. Just let me name a few things right off the bat that I noticed in just 30 days of stretching. Better sleep, less stiffness in the morning, faster recovery times, faster warm-up times, increasing my vertical over 5 inches, increasing my broad jump 10 inches, increase my baseball throwing velocity by three miles an hour and I can throw a football the deep ball distance of plus 15 feet and that's just to name a few but that's all great for me and I think you're wondering or I hope you're wondering how do you get this for yourself and how do you get the best results and what are some things that I did specifically that make a difference that you can do very easily okay first I stretched every night about 90 minutes before I went to bed for 30 days straight, for 30 minutes each day. I did a combination of static stretching, isometric stretching, ballistic stretching, and soft tissue work with a foam roller. Out of all those things, the thing that made the biggest difference is doing a muscle contraction while stretching. And it goes like this. If you are foam rolling, you should be flexing your muscles very hard during one motion of the foam roller. So if the foam roller is coming this way, I would flex and then I would relax. If you're doing something like static stretching, you hold that flex in your muscle as hard as you can for 5 to 15 seconds on and off during those activities. To understand what was happening here, I had to find someone. I'll see what's here. Go find out what's below. And see why it was working so well. So I talked to a physical therapist and he said that when you stretch or perform muscle contractions, and while you're lengthening your muscles, essentially the muscle is trying to shorten, but you're trying to pull it apart in that shortened state. Or in the lengthened state, you're trying to keep it together. Either way. But what this really translates to is a more aggressive stretch that will quickly get you stretching gains. Now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. But all that stretching really won't get you anywhere without keeping your muscles trained and primed for sports. So while you're doing all this hardcore stretching for 30 days, you need to be working on the primary muscular movements for your particular sport. If you want to run faster, you got to run. And you got to try and run faster. If you want to jump higher, guess what? You need to go out and practice jumping and doing plyometrics. And if you look at the stretching thing realistically, someone who does yoga every day, that doesn't mean they're an athlete. I mean, geez, you've seen some of those people. You know they're not athletic even though they can stretch really far. I took a yoga class this morning. So you have to be thinking athlete first, stretch consistently. I'm an athlete first, but I stretch consistently. Another thing you need to understand about lengthening your muscles and contracting during stretching is that you're also getting your muscles ready to transfer energy while in a lengthened state. Let's think about this. That literally means that as you stretch, you're trying to get ready for almost a contact. And that's how the stretch reflex works in your body. Not only does it help you deliver more power, but it also helps you minimize injury because you're able to stay in a lengthened state and create tension, but yet still have some kind of relaxation within your body. So your overall muscle brittleness or hardness of the muscle will start to go away and that will help you immensely in sports to transfer energy and avoid injury. Now, overall, you don't need to go crazy with all the different types of stretches, just basic stretches and things you can find on the internet for every muscle group from your feet to your neck. You remember how to look things up on the internet? Yeah. Make sure you do not skip your upper back and shoulders because that's where a lot of energy transfers through in your body during sports and motion. You do need to focus, again, I'm going to reiterate, on your total body. But don't forget, this is pretty simple to start. 30 days of stretching should only require a maximum of 30 minutes a day. I'm going to call it 30 for 30. And make sure it's 90 minutes before you go to bed so you're not all amped up and you can relax. Believing means achieving. Stretch during your downtime at night. 
and I'll see you when you come back.